If you don't love America, leave it. You can't tell me to leave. What? I can tell you to go. Okay. But let me just be more clear. We paid a price to own this with our indigenous brothers and sisters. We Did we not? Hmm. Did we not? Woo. Uh, nuggets Lie on top of nuggets. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, go right over here. And Joe, it's 842. Good morning. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Joe. Well, I was at the Million Man March 20 years ago. I was at the Million Man March over the weekend. Great. You know, one thing I always say is, let us know if they're trying to tell us the same thing. When are we going to start embracing it? When are we going to look past what he is? I know a lot of people think, okay, because he's a Muslim or whatever. So what? But he's been telling us. We need to be a black race. We need to unify. We need to put our differences aside. You know, we need to have our black organizations be on one accord. You know, we, you know, this, this, this man has been trying to tell us something. You know, let's be honest. The Jews are on one accord. The Koreans are on one accord. The Hispanics are on one accord. When are we going to be on one accord when it comes down to the black agenda? We need to wake up, people. We need, you know, all these organizations we got. How come we're not better off than what we were 20 years ago? Mm -hmm. And I, like Joe? I said... Huh? Joe, you are, you're singing my, my theme music. <laughs> and, and, and I've said it over and over. Matter of fact, I said it this morning. From my perspective, our largest problem is not the government, not white folks or other ethnicities. It's us. It's and I us. agree with you. I agree with you, Coach. But like I said, we need to call, and I'm like this, we need to call out all those black leaders, black organizations that are not on one accord because guess what? You know, if we're not on one accord, I can just see our race going down, continuously going down. Thank you, Joe. Joe, thank, thank you, you so Joe. much. It's uh, 843. Let's go to George. George? Hey, George. Hey, morning, fellas. Good Peace. morning. You know, uh, 20 years ago, my son was still in school, so he, he, he wasn't able to come, uh, come to D.C. this time. But this time, this guy flew all the way from London, England, just what? to be there. Whoa. Oh my goodness! And, 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 coach, and, and Larry, you know what? What was well, so Terry uh, uh, on top when we got on the train? England. Who else sitting right across wow. from us but the Honorable Dick Gregory? No wow. way! Oh my goodness! I don't know who was what, what was more inspiring. Listening to him giving his accounts of the state of the country and the world, for that matter, or listen to uh, the uh, minister himself. But it was all inspiring. Mm. And I keep hearing people talk about, well, what did you get from it? And, uh, and what what happened? This was a spiritual, internal thing. When you start talking well, about, talk about how are you going to treat your brothers, your family members, the next person that looks like you, once you get that part together, you can definitely see what you get from it. This starts from within. What are you going to do? There you go. There How you do you go. Teach, uh, teach your brothers and sisters? There you How go. do you teach your wife? What a, How do you treat I'm women? Going to do. Just overall what are trying you to going improve to do? you what as a person. Spiritually, right. All the, 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 the materialism that will come. Get that yeah. spiritual side of yourself together. Right. So anyway, it was an awe-inspiring yeah. to be there. And anybody that says, oh, it didn't mean anything. We didn't uh -huh. get nothing from it. Well, guess what? Maybe you as an individual didn't get anything there from it. But right. those of us who are conscious there about you the go. fight of black, black people mind. and where we are going, and trust me, that element was there, and we'll continue to move forward. So oh, anyway, mind. it was worth it. Thank you, Brother George. Love it. Love Appreciate man you, Joe. man. Thank you man so Joe. very much. You, you know, um, uh, civil rights leader Ben Chavis was there. Absolutely. And uh, he attended said, the first march. Yeah. And he there said, note that in the crowd 20 years ago wow. was an Illinois mm. state senator who went on to become president. What? So we've made some progress, he go. told us. But go. you and I know we've got a lot more progress to make. Right. There's so too much injustice, too much inequality, too much mass incarceration, wow. too many situations in our community that need addressing.
And that's why we're here today, he said. Yep, it's 846, and on the other side, we'll continue to take your calls about 10, the Million 12, Man March for 103.1010. And hit us up on our Facebook page on wow. Praise 106.1 Baltimore. 846 is Larry Young Morning Show on Praise 